What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to bring in additional textures to SketchUp, set them up as materials, and how to create material libraries. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So for this video, we're gonna be using a Sears kit house model from the 3D Warehouse. So it's the Kilborn and it's from Bob. So if you wanna download this and follow along, you definitely can. Okay, and so to start off, let's talk about what makes up a texture in SketchUp. So I'm gonna use the sample tool and I'm gonna sample this stone coarse texture right here. Well, if I go into the edit tab, notice what this does is this has a section in here that's telling us that it's using a texture image. What that means is that means that that image is being given some properties inside of SketchUp and then it's being tiled across the surface in order to create a SketchUp material. So a SketchUp material is a material that shows up in your material browser here. And so the materials are actually referencing the texture images, but there's something slightly different. So for example, let's say I was to open up this folder right here and I have a texture material inside of it that I downloaded from Poly Haven. And so if I look at this, there's a few different images in here. We're only really worried about the diffuse map, which is basically the image of the texture that's going to be tiled in here. But if I look at this, notice that all this is, is this is a JPEG image that I can bring into SketchUp and create a material from it. And so really quickly, you can get these texture files from a number of different websites. I'll actually link to a tool that I put together that links to a bunch of these websites. You can find that under the sketchupessentials.com slash materials. But in this case, we've gone to Poly Haven. And so when you go to Poly Haven, um, there's an option up here to download free texture assets. And so we're just gonna select one of these and download it. One thing to note about this is there are a number of different maps that you can download along with this. So if I was to select a resolution over here of 1K, note that these can get up to 8K. I usually don't recommend that because you can see how this file size can get really big. Um, but if we look at this and we click on the little button right here, notice how you have the option to download all of these other maps. So those other maps are used for rendering. We're not gonna worry too much about them for this video. They basically tell a rendering software like where things should reflect, where things should be bumpy, other things like that. Don't worry about that for right now. We just wanna worry about the diffuse map or the map with the colors in it. So now there's two ways that I bring materials into SketchUp. The first is that I can just click over here on this button right here and create a new material. And I'm just gonna call this stone wall. And so what you can do with this stone wall material is we can select that texture image that came when we downloaded that material from Polyhaven. So I would click on this and we would go find that diffuse map right here. Notice how when we find that diffuse map, this is now going to show up as the preview image of this material. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And so now I'm just gonna draw a quick rectangle in here just so we can see this. And I'm actually gonna push pull it up so I have multiple different faces that I can apply materials to. But that material is now going to show up in the in model section of your material. So if I click on this, notice how I can scroll down until I find that stone wall material that we just created. Now remember that you can go into the edit tab and adjust the size. So I might bring this down to like five feet or three feet. And notice how this is going to be a smaller material. But now I have that material in here and I can apply it to surfaces in my model, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna replace the stone material on this wall. And so I can click in here and I can replace the stone material this way. The other thing that I could do is there's an extension I use from the SketchUp extension warehouse called Material Replacer. And so what that's gonna do is I can run Material Replacer. That's gonna let me sample a material, so in this case, this stone coarse rough, and then it's gonna let me sample a material that I wanna replace it with, which is this stone wall material. That replaced that stone wall material anywhere. So now I've been able to replace that stone wall with this new texture right here. So the other way you can do this is you can also find that image file from within your textures folder and drag it directly into your SketchUp model like this. When you do that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring this in as an image. So notice how I can't sample it right now because it's in here as an image object. However, I can right click on it and explode it and then I can sample it 
like this, we'll notice how that now is going to show up as an as an actual material in here. And I could call this something else. So I could come in here and rename this red brick wall like this, but notice how that is now also gonna show up in here. And I can use that to apply to surfaces in this model. And again, I'm gonna adjust the size a little bit because it comes in kind of big. So we're gonna adjust it down so that the size makes a little more sense, but then I'm gonna replace my SketchUp brick right here with this new material. So material replacer, replace this, replace this. And so it replaced that everywhere in my model. Okay, so that's how you can create new materials in SketchUp. If you want to save them, however, what you can do is you can find that material that it created, you can right click and you can do a save as. Now when you do a save as, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to save the SketchUp material file, the SKM file in a folder. So in this case, I'm gonna call this bricks underscore red brick wall and I'm gonna click on save. Notice how I have other bricks and stones in this folder as well. So if I click on save, now that material is going to show up in that folder. Now, how do we make that folder show up inside of our SketchUp material browser? So the way that we can do that is right now, right, we've just got our default materials in here, that brick folder isn't in here, but what we can do is we can click on this button right here and open or create a collection and so, when we open or create a collection, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to go find our folder. So in this case, the brick folder where all of those SketchUp material files are saved, and we're gonna click on select. Well now, if I click in here and I scroll down, notice how that brick is going to show up in here and you can sample or bring in any of the materials that you have using the SketchUp material browser right here. So I have other folders in here as well, like this wood folder. So if I select this wood folder, notice how I only have one wood material in here right now. Okay, so let's save another one. And so I've got this wood deck material that I've downloaded from Polyhaven. And so just real quick, I'm gonna drag this in, explode it, sample it. I'm gonna call it wood deck material and I'm probably going to bring the size of that material down a little bit so something like that well then I'm going to go find it in my end model section I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to save it in that wood folder well now if I scroll down to my wood folder like this, notice how that material is now gonna show up in that collection. And so what I can do is I can now use that to add a wood deck to my front porch like this. All right, so if you're looking for more step-by-step -step instruction on how to learn SketchUp, make sure you check out my course, the SketchUp Essentials course, where you can get not only some of the best SketchUp instruction on the internet, but also our community forum and our group live calls where you can actually get on the phone with us live and ask questions and get help. If you wanna check that out, I'll link to it on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.